Hello everyone and welcome to this series on how to make an endless runner game using Unity Engine. Sorry because I didn't upload video on this series for a while. That's because I accidentally deleted all my files. So I decided to remake the game and continue with this series. So in this video we are going to add the swipe controls so that we can play the game on a mobile device. So without further ado let's get started. First, we need to create a swipe manager script that is going to hold all the values of the inputs like swipe left, swipe right, and so on. So, under scripts, let's create a new C -sharp script using right click, create C -sharp script, and let's call this swipe manager. Then, double click to open it up in Visual Studio. Then, let's delete the start and the update methods. And over here, we have these lines of code, so I'm not going to uh, explain these. So if you wanted to learn how this script works, I'm gonna put the link in the description for a video that is going to explain how this works. But the only thing that you need to know about this script is that we have uh, some global variables like tap, swipe left, swipe right, and so on and to get these values you can write the name of the script using swipe manager then dot tap so if this is true this means that we tap on the screen so you can write this on your own or I'm going to put the whole project with the source code on github so that you can clone it or download it now let's save this and go back into unity let's create an empty game object using right click create empty and let's call this swipe manager as well then drag and drop the swipe manager script into this empty game object and now we can check if we make a swipe right, swipe left or down let's go to the player controller script and here instead of using the arrow keys for example here instead of using the right arrow let's delete this and use the swipe manager script using swipe manager dot swipe right the same thing over here let's change this to swipe left using swipe manager dot swipe left because these booleans variables are declared as static this means that you can access it from any script using the name of the script followed by dot and the name of the variable like swipe left right or even tap and so on so let's change over here for the jump here we have if input dot get key down and we are searching for the up arrow instead of using uh, the up arrow key let's use the swipe manager as well using swipe manager dot swipe up so let's save this and go back into unity let's hit this run button you see now that I can use my swap controls to move the player left and right we didn't add the sliding so we are going to do that later on I can also jump using the up swipe and it's working very well so I hope you enjoyed this video so if you have any question or comment Make sure to leave it under the comment section down below and uh, have a great day.